ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ജവായ ഫാക്സ് ജി യു വൈ ട്യൂട്ടോറിയൽ നാവ് വി ആർ അറ്റ് ദി ഫൈനൽ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി സബ് സീരിയസ് ലേബൽ കൺട്രോൾ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ സെറ്റ് എ ലേബിൾ വിത്ത് എ സ്പെസിഫിക് ഫാണ്ട് ആൾസോ വി വിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് എ ഫിൽ കളർ ഹെരി ഫ്യൂസിം ദി ഫാണ്ട് ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് വി പ്രൊവൈഡ് എ ഫിൽ കളർ ഓഫ് റെഡ് ആർ മെറോൺ വി വിൽ സി വെൻ വി ഗോ ഇൻ സൈഡ് ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ all right now we will see how to set font and color to a label so this time we are constructing a third label so this is the caption given to the label then we are constructing a font and here we specify the font face name and the size of the font so we are giving a font size of 28 and uh, we name this as uh, fnt verdana then to our label 3 we are setting the font we set our font then we make call to the text fill method the text filled the text fill method of the label control will set color to the label so here if you see we are making use of color constant and supplying that to the uh, text fill method again this color is different from awt so the color object here the color constant we can say this comes from a different package so the package is specific to java fx when we go to the code implementation that time we will resolve the uh, correct package finally we add our third label to the flow pen now so you can see the added label look like this we will go to the demo and add the third label so this is where we left uh, previously now we have label 1 label 2 we will create a third label that means uh, the code snippet will go as 1.6 so we are importing the font from java fx see text font then the color is from fx java fx see paint dot color so in fx when you place a period here the color will be displayed in the intelligence itself when you scroll through you can look at the color here itself then you know how the color look so let me click a control z so that it's the crimson color now we will rebuild the solution i mean rebuild the project then we will run the file so now we have three label added to the flow pen and if i resize it you can see the third label control moves to second and if i further reduce it all controls are 
uh, stacked on top of each other. It, this is because of uh, Flowpan. Flowpan is managing all these uh, three labels. Now, if you see the distance between these three, so this is a 15 pixel we can see. Now, let me increase this to 150 on all four edges. I will save it, run. Now, if you see, the left edge, so it's a fix, fixed edge, right? So, the margin here is 150 and from top it is 150. So, go home is here, right? Now it moves to the right and if you see the distance is 150. So once this 150 is reached then the control which was in the second row gone to the first row. Now let me increase the size further. Sample label 3 also will go and if you see the space here is enough to hold sample label 3 but still this is not going here why because we set such a higher inset here that means the distance between sample label 3 and the 150 is not possible now so i have to resize it further and if you see at certain stage it will move here that means here now this is 150 inset all right now let me reduce it to 15 as usual and we will increase the gap here to 100 and we will experiment this so if you see you can easily see the distance between these two control is gone as 100 now if i reduce the distance you can see this distance also 100 now you see So that's all you have to know. So now you saw how Flowpan is managing the controls. And we will come back to these um, uh, containers after uh, moving through some example. I mean after learning the basic controls. Then we will come back to uh, different container controls. Alright, that's all here. We finished with our first example. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.